in general, this is something you'd want to obviously be wary of. When you get LinkedIn invites, kind of verify, you know, make sure that you're not linking in with somebody who's pretending to be someone that you know mm -hmm. and really is that person. I don't really have good advice about how you would do that necessarily other than calling them, but that's it's a little bit know, tricky. Yeah. It can be tricky, especially if you have a, you know, substantial profile, you're, you know a lot of people and you're linked in mm -hmm. with a lot of people. But it's not a new tactic. Like we said, there have been other cases I think we reported on. Uh, there was one where somebody there was an had done experiment. A, yeah. yeah, they'd done experiment <laughs> as a stage. pen test, right, against a def defense contractor yeah. where they had a attractive woman that pretended to be part of the company and everybody right. in the company like linked in with her uh, mm -hmm. or accepted her invite and then they actually were able to like get a laptop by you know social engineering people within the company right. their IT personnel in any event um, and also there was. Um, there have been recent cases that we've discussed where uh, targeted attackers are looking at the um, job postings mm -hmm. at various companies, and then they'll send weaponized uh, like resumes in, you right. know, a Trojanized doc file that has someone's resume, but it really drops a piece of malware on the machine. Mm -hmm. So you know, the HR department or whatever in your organization might get these resumes and you know one of them might be a Trojan I think. Yeah, like who would have thought the HR department is one that really is perhaps the most exposed in terms of uh, be, being potentially you know uh, uh, receiving a, a malicious file. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and you can't really block them otherwise you'd be blocking the resumes they have right. to be able to get to those. And chances them, are exactly. they might even just forward those right on to the actual depending on the size of the organization they might mm -hmm. forward that resume on right to it could continue on the, um, yeah. the part of the company that's actually hiring for that position mm -hmm. which might be where they really whoever this you know target attacker is trying to get. Mm -hmm. So things to be really wary of and careful about as you're you know doing these social interaction type engagements out on the internet.